Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to program the 99 plus 8 zone alarm that we have here and I'm going to show you how to program two PIRs and two remote control key fobs as well as set the alarm up using the app which you'll find a QR code for in the manual first up I'm going to show you how we will set the Wi-Fi up because the setting the Wi-Fi up will allow us to have the time and date settings. So if you're not registered with the with Smart Life, um, we already are. You need to download the app from your relevant um, app store like Google Play or or something similar Google Play app um, or the Apple store shall I say and then we will look to set up a new device and I'll show you how to do this here now this is our smart life app here you clip on the plus icon at the top and it will say add device so you click on add device it will now ask you what sort of device you want to add and here we want to look for security and set, um, sensors and and then select alarm Wi-Fi and click it at the same time pressing on the hash or pound sign on our alarm key panel So I'm going to look now for security and sensor in my app store or in my Smart Life app. Sorry, it just takes a minute to find it. So we're looking for sensors and then alarm Wi Fi. So, sensors is the third one along on your left hand side of your screen and then you select alarm Wi-Fi which is right here.
you click on alarm Wi-Fi as well as having your finger on the pound sign button on your panel it will ask you your Wi-Fi network information you select your Wi-Fi network And then you'll click next. Dad. Once you have done this, it will take a few moments and you'll see it says multi-function alarm and that's enabling the Wi-Fi between the alarm and the phone now and then you click done we can now test arming the alarm and disarming the alarm through our app here. That is a sign that the alarm has actually now been connected to your Wi-Fi. And I'm going to stay arm it. Stay arm. And now I will disarm it. Disarm. You do also have the option here of an SOS, so we can send an SOS signal as well. 99 alarm. Because we haven't connected the siren yet, you'll just have this message here come up. And that's how you disarm it. <clears throat> While we we are in the app, and it's actually set the time now, like I said, because it's using our router's time and date setup to the seventh for the um, seventh month. 8th day, so 8th of July and the time and we're now going to set up an actual um, accessory using the app so we will go to where it says accessories, you'll hear the alarm beep as well by the way, and then you'll click at the top, you'll click add, it will ask you to detect what you want to program first. And you get your remote, and then you press a button on the remote, and it will say device add successful. And you just click confirm. Now we have one remote paired to our alarm system. I now want to add a wireless detector to our alarm system. 
pretty much the same way. And you, again, in the accessory screen, you scroll along until you find wireless detector. That's usually the first icon. And then you click add. Turn your wireless detector on. Add successful. It will flash and it will say that it's been successful. That is now your wireless detector paired using the app. And now we want to put our detector into a zone. Here you can actually name your zone as well by going to the wireless detector, choosing your zone which user wants to modify and then click the sub device name, enter a name and you click save. So you enter your name, in this one we are going to call this one Hallway. Not hallway. Kitchen. Actually, no, we'll call it kitchen zone two. Yeah, but I can put zone two first. We are calling this one our zone two. As you can see there. And now we just click on the top here and it says save. That is now our zone two saved. So now we are going to go to the panel itself. Now we're going to go to the panel itself and we are going to program our PIR and our controller from the panel itself. On the panel itself you'll press the pound sign set button and then to add the remote control you press zero seven. 7 and because this one is our number 2 we're going to call it number 2 zero. 2 and then just press add set remote again. control 2 and then press a button on your remote add successful 
that is now your second remote control added to your system. To add a detector, here is our detector. You press the pound key. And then you press zero, eight. Sometimes you will get that. Um, right. No, I did that wrong. I do apologise. Not zero eight. That's to delete your remote controls. So, you know, I'm still learning this as well as much as you. So, you go zero nine. Zero, one, one, and then pound sign. One. That is now your zone and your PIR added to your system. And to get out of it, you just press that error. When it wants to winch. <laughs> That is how you program. What's your PIRs and your remotes. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory in the manual about adding your phone numbers, etc. You can do that via the app, or you can do that via the panel itself. Again, as long as you follow the instructions. Really, you cannot go wrong. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.